What's going on YouTube? It's Brad and today we are doing another episode of Aikido Eats. I was driving by GNC today so I decided to swing in there and grab a few snacks. So I've got one we're going to try today and it is by Quest Nutrition. It is Quest Nutrition's white chocolate raspberry protein bar. So it's a white chocolate raspberry protein bar, 20 grams of protein, 5 grams net carbs with a star. We're going to find out what the star means. We're going to get our review going. Let's do this. Now I'm going to get the fasting glucose. Blood glucose is coming in at 4.5 millimolar today. 4.5 on the fasting blood glucose. Now we're gonna get the fasting ketone level. So today's fasting ketone level is coming in at 1.2 millimolar. 1.2 millimolar. So now let's go over the nutritional breakdown. Let's go over a little bit of the packaging what I think about this bar here. So uh, looking at the package, it's got 20 grams of protein. Um, this says five grams of net carbs with an asterisk. So we're gonna see what that asterisk means. Um, one gram of sugar, 15 grams of fiber. Um, and this is by Quest Nutrition. This is the Quest Nutrition Protein Bar, white chocolate raspberry. So 200 calories, eight grams of fat, 22 grams of carbohydrate with 15 grams of fiber, one gram of sugar and two grams of erythritol. Protein coming in at 20 grams. The asterisk on the front, the way they describe that is 22 grams of carbs minus 15 grams of fiber minus 2 grams of erythritol equals two, 5 grams of net carbs. So they're subtracting the full 2 grams of erythritol. Some people say, you know, divide the sugar alcohols by 2 um, to give you 1 and kind of, some people say divide the whole thing. The 15 grams of fiber is curious. Corn fiber is the second ingredient, so. Um, so I happen to really like white chocolate and raspberries, so I'm going to let you know what I think this tastes like. This is my first ever Quest Nutrition Bar. And these are thought to be keto friendly. Actually, when I went to GNC, the gal behind the counter told me that this was a keto bar, so. So before I eat the rest of this, I want to just give you my first impression on the flavor. Um, I taste the raspberry, it tastes like a, the consistency is a little dry. It tastes, it's, it's chewy, you know, it's got the texture of a, it's a soft bar, so the bar is, you know, as you can see, the bar is kind of, you know, malleable. It doesn't break, so based off of that first bite, it tastes pretty good. So go ahead and finish this off, and then we'll start the process. So I got my timer set for 30 minutes. I want to go over this bar a little bit before, before we get to the numbers, so. Um, Having completed the whole bar, it's, it's, I mean, it's got a pretty good flavor. If you like that white chocolate raspberry flavor, I think you'll like the flavor. I noticed my jaw is a little bit like sore. I, I mean, uh, you really got to chew the thing. It's not hard. It's not a hard bar, but it's got um, kind of like a dry, thick, you know, granular flavor. It's probably all the corn fiber, probably all that corn fiber that's in there. Um, but uh, overall, I think the, the taste was good. I'm not a guy who does bars. Um, I know we're going to be reviewing a lot of products on this channel, but um, I, I don't tend to do bars a lot. So, But overall, I think the bar was tasty and satisfying. So, Hey guys, it's been 30 minutes since I've eaten the Quest Nutrition White Chocolate Raspberry Protein Bar. And I got to say, before we do any measurements here, um, I'm not real happy with the way that it made my stomach feel. So I'm suspecting that it's the massive amount of insoluble fiber that they add to the product that's in my stomach. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It's like a bloated feeling. So um, I eat real food for the most part. Like I eat food. I don't eat a lot of products. So that may be what it's a, a feeling of. But um, it's like I said, it's just kind of feels like it's um, bubbling in my stomach, almost like a sponge as if it's expanding almost. So a little bit of bloat, a little bit of uh, discomfort. So we're going to check the glucose at 30 minutes. So the blood glucose has risen to 5.1 millimolar. We're at 5.1 millimolar right now, 30 minutes post-consumption. Gonna move on to the ketones. So the blood ketones are currently at 1.3 millimolar, 1.3 millimolar, and that's 30 minutes post-consumption. So the good thing is at the 30 minute mark, while my glucose has elevated, my ketones have stayed the same. Actually, they have elevated, so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens at the 60 minute mark. See you then. Hey guys, we reached the 60 minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my levels and we'll report it. So the blood glucose has come down a little bit, 4.5 millimolar, 4.5 millimolar, uh, one hour after consumption. Moving on to the ketone test. We are at 0.9 millimolar, 0.9 millimolar, 60 minutes after consumption. So I wanted to just go over this a little bit at the, at the 60 minute mark and the, 
the way that this is uh, acting and reacting in my body, I'm not super happy with. I, I'm suspecting it's from the massive amounts of corn fiber, of insoluble corn fiber, but um, I feel bloated. Uh, I feel like my stomach is sort of gargling, like it's trying to digest something that it really um, isn't used to or accustomed to. So I also have a weird sort of hunger feeling, which is um, unique because I don't normally get hungry. Um, so. At the moment, I feel, uh, when I ate the bar, I was satisfied, it tasted good, I mean, it, it left me feeling sort of, you know, full, um, but we're at, we're sitting here one hour later, and I feel like I want to eat something again, so, um, I'm not sure what that's for, or what that's about, but, um, I suspect the bloating and the, the stomach discomfort is from the, is from the added corn fiber, so, hey guys, we're back, and it's 120 minute mark, I'm gonna go ahead and check my levels and see what... So the blood glucose reading is coming in at 4.3 millimolar, 4.3 millimolar, and that is 120 minutes post-consumption. Blood ketones are coming in at 1.2 millimolar, 1.2 millimolar, 120 minutes post-consumption. So what are my final thoughts on the Quest Nutrition Protein Bar? I'm gonna give this one a neutral. It's not a thumbs up or a thumbs down. For me, I did not like the way it made my body feel at all. I don't like the way it, I don't like the way that it made me bloat. Um, so numbers-wise, I did not get knocked out of ketosis. I did see an increase in blood sugar levels and I did see a decrease in ketones, but I never left the threshold of nutritional ketosis. So they are keto friendly, um, but for me, I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have them in my personal rotation. I just, I just don't like the way that it, uh, that it felt in my stomach. I don't like the way that my body processed it. But all right, guys, leave comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you like these videos and give me ideas for testing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some various things that we all have questions about. I wanna do different kinds of testing to see how my blood glucose and blood ketone levels are responding to the foods that I eat. So let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm happy to bring it to you. Thanks a lot, guys.